Most modern offenses are built around ball screens, a primary ball handler that can create advantages by using a ball screen and forcing the defense to rotate. If you want to become a playmaker, you need to learn how to utilize ball screens. Now we're gonna talk about the mental side of ball screens. James Harden is one of the best in the world at reading defenses and making them pay, not with his scoring necessarily, but with his unbelievable passing. We're gonna break down the floor and we're gonna get chess game vision so you can start to look for the same thing that James Harden looks for that allows him to be so effective. The first and most important step that you must implement before you ever use the ball screen is look at something different. Right now, when a ball screen's coming, you're probably looking at the screener or looking at your defender. Stop doing that. When you know a ball screen's coming, raise your vision and map the floor. I'll say it again, map the floor. Great players are never caught by surprise. They know where all their teammates and all defenders are before using a ball screen. The threat of a roll to the rim or a dive to the rim is gonna open up passes to the perimeter. You gotta know who your passes are before the roll. So let's check this out right here. If I'm receiving a ball screen from the wing and my man Jason's coming to set this ball screen, I set him up, I come off, I use it. As Jason starts to roll to the rim, he's going to collapse the defense. As he rolls to the rim, someone other than his defender is gonna to have to check him or else it's a layup or a thunderous dunk, obviously. I need to know who is going to take away the rim roll. Here's who it usually is. This is your level one read. It's usually the opposite corner. So as Jason's rolling to the rim, it's usually the opposite corner that's gonna dive in. And what James Harden does so well is he already knows who's in the corner, where they are in the corner, and the moment he sees their defender step and lean towards the rim runner, he fires a pass. Jason, I'm going to have you go and become my offensive teammate on the corner right now. So before I even use this ball screen, I know Jason's there. I know he's my first option, and I'm watching Jason's defender. As I come off this ball screen, I'm watching Jason's defender, and the moment he's rolling, I'm going to be firing that pass, and Jason's going to be pulling that shot. Let's see what it looks like here. Now, to train this, you get a coach, you get a teammate, you get a younger brother or sister, you put them in the corner. Put a chair as your screener. As you come off the screens, your teammate in the corner can stay in a low ready stance, or they can show you 10 fingers above their head. If you see 10 fingers above their head, it means they're open, their defender is creeping towards the paint, and you work on making on time accurate passes. I don't know what Jason's gonna do here. If he stays low, I shoot the pull up. If he shows high, I'm gonna fire to him. It's up to you, Jason. The second most common way that a defense is gonna check the rim run is gonna be from the ball side corner. And how offenses tend to counter that is with a lift behind the roll. So your first check as you map the floor beforehand is opposite corner. Your second check is you gotta know who's gonna be replacing you from the slot or wing, lifting as you attack the paint coming off the ball screen. If as you come off the ball screen, you see the weak side corner defender staying home, you need to check your rear view mirror, check behind your shoulder to see if the ball side corner is actually checking the rim. So what we've got right now is we've got our man Jason in the ball side corner now. It's gonna be his defender as I come off the ball screen that's gonna be checking the rim runner. So as I come off the ball screen here and I see that player staying home, as I continue to attack, I gotta check my rear view because Jason's defender is most likely sliding into the paint to guard the rim runner. So as I stretch out this defense, I can use a hook pass or a pivot pass to get the shot behind. A very dangerous way to really punish the defense. James Harden usually has Ryan Anderson or Trevor Ariza lifting behind the ball screen to give him more options. Let's see what that looks like. The third read you have to have to be a great passer out of ball screens is you have to be able to use the pocket pass to hit the short roll. 
If you become so dangerous like a James Harden or Steph Curry that they're going to trap you on the ball screen or come with a really hard hedge, it becomes difficult to make any of these scoring passes. And so you're going to need your screener to actually go back to the basketball and you want to pressure release to them quickly, creating a four on three for the rest of your team. Two things to keep in mind here. As you stretch the defense against a trap, you want to actually stretch away from the rim, giving your teammates more space, not along the three point line. And the second thing is stay poised. Try to raise the defender's hands with your eyes while you throw a bounce pass right by the pockets of the defenders. And this situation here, I'm going to make a pocket pass to Jason. And as you train this, you then can relocate to the three point line to get a pass back and work on your three pointer. Let's see what it looks like. Here's a bonus for you to get more assists and get your teammates making more shots. Passing accuracy equals shooting accuracy. It's not enough just to pass to your teammate. If you pass to your teammate and it's outside of their box or at their feet, Jason, how would you feel about a pass at your feet? It's not a great rhythm. Not a great rhythm. You're not going to make as many shots. You want your teammates to make more shots. Get small and specific with your target. My good friend Colin Costello at Shot Mechanics tells me that most players practice shooting with perfect passes and that's why they have a lot of trouble making shots in games when their teammates aren't throwing them perfect passes. Be the exception. Be the James Harden. Make perfect passes. You get more assists. They get more buckets. Your team gets more wins and you can become a ball screen master. So if this video helped you out, please like it. Please subscribe to our channel. And if you want the only four in one camp experience, click the link in the description below to find a session near you. I'll see you there.